Psalms chapter 2 verse 10. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Shalom, this is the brother Ba. You're back here once again. Before I get started, like always, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rachachachachadash. The bonus to my teachers, the elder apostles of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the whole full Yeah, I'm going to touch on the topic of leadership. um, Because we are the princes all right, of Yahshua Allah. We are the sons of the Most High. All right, we are the princes waiting for our inherit inheritance to be kings and sit on thrones but um just because every son is I mean, every israelite son all right just because every israelite son is a prince doesn't mean the lord is dealing with him right now the lord is only dealing with the hopeful elect all right the elect beginning with the 144,000 the government body so that's who these um lessons are for all right the elect all right the hopeful elect wherever they may be and us being princes all right, waiting on our inheritance from our big bro, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. We are being instructed, all right, we are being taught, we are being disciplined um, during our punishment, which is this captivity we have under the age of Esau, right? Now, a lot of, you see it, you see it a lot, a lot of guys um, want to be kings and sit on thrones, but they don't want to um, do the necessary things to reach that pinnacle. All right, I've been watching um, I've been watching a um, a show dealing with you know a king and his son, and his son is the prince. And uh, one thing you see in that show is that um, the prince, you know, the prince likes to, you know, he wants to leave the palace and go do regular things like the rest of the civilians of his nation. All right, he wants to go out and party all the time have fun all the time, you know, just running, you know, just running, be a young man. He's a prince, but he's bound by the palace rules. He's bound by his father's rules, and he can't do what the ordinary citizen of his nation does because he's being prepped for leadership. He's being prepped to rule and reign, all right? So here it is. You have us brothers that are in these camps, all right? We're all, we're all following uh, or should be following Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, and following, you know, the elders on down, the leadership on down. We all are followers. We all are likened unto sheep, right? <laughs> Let's go to uh, First Corinth, the 11th chapter real quick. Touch on that quick point that we should be um, exhibiting uh, the attributes of a follower. <clears throat> Uh, what am I spelling wrong? <clears throat> let me let me just take the whole thing out. First Corinthians, the eleventh chapter. <clears throat> Let's go to verse, um, uh, verse one. This is Paul speaking. It says, "Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah." Right. So we're all supposed to be following, you know, the paths of the righteous men before us that are following after Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. But for what though? What's the purpose of us following? To be made into leaders. All right. That's what that's the ultimate goal. That's what the Lord is preparing his sons to do. To lead the nation. All right. To lead the people of this earth. Beginning with the uh, one hundred and forty four thousand. All right, and the rest of the uh, great multitude. That's what the whole purpose of following is about. So you, in, in turn, yourself can be a great leader. Now, what is leadership, right? Guys sometimes mistake, you know, being a leader with, oh, I go to camp and I shout at people and I cut people with the scriptures, you know, right? I'm on the camera, you know, showing how much knowledge I got with the scriptures, or they may confuse leadership with just putting up videos. Or oh, I put up the most videos, which all that plays a part. All that is about, you know, um, what I'm going to go into. But the main uh, trait of a good leader is to be a, g a good example. All right. Because what did I just say? We're all sheep. We're followers. But we're also being made leaders. All right. <clears throat> 
So as you get men under you, all right, as you get people under you following you, you want to be a good example to them like the men before you were a good example to you. Now, you know, our elder apostles are great examples, all right, and, and the men on down that's falling in that stead. But you can have just a rebellious nigga that, that takes it upon himself not to follow the example. You always going to have those guys come around, all right. And how do you be an example? Is it just the doing your videos? Is it just going out on highways and byways? No. The main way you are an example to the brothers coming up, all right, is the way you live your life, all right? The way you carry yourself, all right, in this life that we have, because in this wicked world that we are, that we are engulfed in, all right? Um, let me get the first scripture I want to get. Uh, first Timothy the fourth chapter uh, first Timothy chapter 4 let's go down to verse uh, verse 12 it says first Timothy chapter 4 verse 12 let no man despise thy youth right because majority of the followers of the Lord are young men the Lord calls men when they're very young. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, and in purity. Now it says, um, in word and in conversation. What should your conversation be? Should, should your conversation majority make majority make up of nigga, nigga, shit, nigga shit? Or worldly shit. Now we understand that we have these jobs, and you know we have to put on our clock Kent, all right. And you ha you have to have the balance of knowing, you know, basically how to blend in like a chameleon, you're right to get to get through your, your your daily life, all right, to to get through your journey here in this captivity. But Jake, um, Jake likes to use the excuse of balance to be a nigger, all right. Jake could say, oh, it's a balance, but then they not even balancing. They just being a, a straight worldly dude in conversation and conduct the way he carries himself, all right? He goes out on the highways and byways, put on a garment, all right? May do a video every now and then, but the way he is when he's not involved in the ministry, he's just a, reg just a nigga, all right? Through, through, through his conduct, through his speech, through his conversation, all right? And you, and you know... A guy by the company he keeps, all right? And like I said, by this conversation. Matter of fact, let's get that in um, what your conversation is supposed to be anyways. And like I said, yes, it is a balance, but you don't use b balance to be in it for an excuse for you to just be the same worldly dude. It's not what this truth is about, right? And I'm going get, to get into that too, that this truth is supposed to make you into a whole new man, all right? Those attributes that you learned in the world, all right, those, those are supposed to be broken off of you, man, as you grow in the truth. You're supposed to be growing. I understand your first couple years in, you, you know, you still got a lot of those traits. But Jacob be, you know, pushing 10 years in the truth and still, still got them niggly attributes, hasn't, haven't grown at all, all right? Uh, Second Peter chapter 3, that, and that's not a good leader that's not somebody you won't lead in our people that's not a good example right a guy that's that's that has a folly conversation folly conduct right always drunk all right always lazy right always talking about nigga shit you know you know you know what you know the two-third conversation man I ain't gotta go too deep into that but this is second peter chapter 3 verse 11 it says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What's going to be dissolved? All right, this current age, this current rulership that we're under, under the, Esau, under the age of Esau. They're going to be dissolved by them nuclear missiles. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? All right, so your conversation is supposed to be holy, set apart, different from the world. All right? based upon what you're learning in this word here washing yourself renewing yourself in the word right <clears throat> let's get that because when you wash yourself you become clean all right refresh <clears throat> renewed <laughs> 
<clears throat> here it is. We're trying to get to the kingdom. We're trying to get our inheritance. We don't want no guy that's stuck being in the world, a worldly behaving nigga, right, that's claiming to be an Israelite on the outward, but inward he ain't changing. We don't, the Lord don't want nobody like that, man. Yeah, fuck us. More importantly, the Lord don't want nobody like that in his government. You ain't a good example for the people. You gonna lead people to talk about uh, your favorite rapper all goddamn day, all right? Or 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 or, or your favorite, you know, your favorite um, liquor all damn day. But I said, you know, like I said, it's a balance. But Jake goes overboard with the, with that shit, man. All right, and you start seeing Jake ain't really renewed the man. He ain't put off the old man. He just, you know. You got a garment on now. <laughs> it's Ephesians chapter 4, verse 22, man. It says, um, uh, let me see. Yeah, let's throw to verse 21. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 21. If so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Yahweh Shah, that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man. So, that nigga shit you was engulfed in. Hanging around niggas on the block talking about fighting and gossiping and, you know, folly and, you know, worldly matters that don't concern you growing. You got to put that shit off, man. You have to you have to grow to put that shit off completely. It says that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to deceitful lusts. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Right? You, you, your thinking process has to be totally different. The way you conduct yourself has to be totally different. You can't talk and think and conduct yourself as the two-thirds of the nation of Israel. The elect is being prepped to be the leaders of the nation. How the hell are you going to be a leader and you're doing and, and behaving the same exact way they are? You're not a leader. leader. You might as well just, hey, man... Put, take your garment off Just be a regular Israelite And let the Lord destroy you And come back into Canaan Because he going to destroy you anyways Because you ain't renewing yourself you fool, you're, you're fooling yourself Right It says um, Verse 24 And that ye put on the new man A new man Not the same man This this new uh, Let me get let me get that word Alright That means you have new attributes New characteristics about yourself A new conversation it ain't the former man. It's a new man. Jake is hard-headed and can't grasp that, man. All right? It says, recently made, fresh, recent, unused, unworn. All right? You've never, you've never been this before. Unprecedented, of a new kind. All right? So when, so when people of the world that you knew in the world looks at you, they should see that you've totally done, all right, a, a, a whole change in your life That you're a totally different guy now They shouldn't look at you and still see the same nigga Alright Really they shouldn't even be able to hold a conversation with you that long no more Because your conversation has changed If you can go out with speaking about nigga shit You ain't put off the old man Alright It should vex you at a point Because when you put on the new man Talking about nigga shit and worldly shit For hours It, it begins to vex you man Just like I, I brought up the example about how we go to work And we have to you know Play the game That shit is vexing man Being around these Low level ass people man Listening to the shit They being engulfed in If you comfortable Sitting in that That mire Alright That dirt Alright of the, of the world For hours on end And you don't feel uneasy Or vexed by it You ain't put off the old man I'm, you, you ain't the new You ain't a new man You still the same dude Just with a garment on Right So, so to be a leader you have to be a good example, man. You have to be a good example. You can't be out on the highways and byways telling the guy to stop eating uh, Mike and Ike's and you still eat Mike and Ike's. You know, I'm just giving an example. You can't be out screaming at the, at the nigga woman because you mad because you can't get the woman you want or you having issues with a woman. You go out on the highways and byways screaming at the nigga woman, but you as a man, you ain't doing what the Lord requires for you to do as a man. How the hell are you going to yell at a woman the weaker vessel and you as a man ain't doing what the Lord requires of you. Jake be having their priorities messed up, right? But, but see, the elect is not going to do these things. They're not going to do these things. The elect is going to renew themselves through the spirit.
through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh All right, the elect is going to work on themselves daily and not get comfortable just because they out in the highways and byways now. They know that it's a steady fight to grow and not stay the same dude. It's First Peter, it's cha First Peter chapter 2. Um, let's go down to the point, verse 16. First Peter chapter 2, verse 16. As free, as free, and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants of Yahweh, so under this grace period, the liberty we have under this grace period, we're, we're supposed to be using this time to be servants of the Lord, to be the best servants we could possibly be, right? Not being comfortable as being an... A, you know, that same old nigga you were in this vile ass society, man. Right? <clears throat> Let me get uh, Philippians, the third chapter. We're going to run through these because what you find is it's many times in the, in the scriptures the Lord is telling brothers to be a good example. All right? How can you be a, a, a leader of a nation of people? How can you be the leader of anything and you're not a good example? The people in your company are going to totally be out of order chaotic right not following the right path which is what you see in Esau's kingdom right he's a horrible example so you see horrible results it's first Peter chapter 3 uh I said first Peter Philippians chapter 3 let's go uh, start at verse uh, 17 it says brethren be followers together of me and mark them which walk so as ye have it have us for an example all right, so be followers of a righteous man and mark those men and follow them, right? Follow follow the, their characteristics, right? Verse 18, for many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are the enemies of, of the cross of Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. So you got those that are walking contrary to the ways of righteous men and the Lord said that they're enemies to his cross, right? Verse 19, whose end is destruction, whose power is their belly and whose glory is, is in their shame, who mind earthly things, right? That's who the Lord is directing us to, those who mind and spirit is on the world. Conversation is on the world. Totally engulfed in worldly matters. The Lord knows who you niggas are, man, and he's coming for y'all, man. Especially y'all that, that are in these camps around brothers pretending, trying to put on a show. Oh, them brothers can do it, so I can do it too, you know? Oh, uh, this is verse 20. But really, you ain't doing shit because you ain't renewing yourself. All right? That's why the Lord is going to say, what, what's, what's that saying? He says, uh, uh, who is this that, you know, roughly paraphrased, who is this that came in with these with these garments, kick him out, kick him out of the, uh, the marriage supper of the Lamb? It says, verse 20, for our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for our Savior, uh, Yahweh Shahamashiach. Right, that's what we base our conversation on these spiritual things, things of growth. All right, <clears throat> things that are going to make us into better leaders. All right, while we're following, we're learning these things as we're following to make us better leaders. All right, in the future, and um, I can go on and on with uh scriptures on being an example, but I don't want to stress this point here uh, because the Lord willing, I'm gonna come back with another video. Um, with instruction for princes. Uh, this is, let's get Titus chapter 2. Because we bring this scripture out about dealing with how young women should be. But this scripture also tells you how the young men should be. Alright. Let's get up uh, Titus chapter 2. Uh, verse 6. It says, Young men, likewise, exhort to be sober-minded in all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works consistency a pattern sober mind right circumspect on spiritual things right knowing what the hell going on knowing your weaknesses and knowing that you need to work on them and actually working on them in all things showing thyself a pattern of good works in doctrine showing un uncorruptness gravity sincerity a lot of guys aren't sincere they're doing this for the looks of other men Verse 8, sound speech that cannot be condemned. Yeah, if a brother come by you and hear you talking about some nigga shit and talk, you sound like a straight uh, demon on the block, that's, that type of speech can be condemned. 
that that type of speech can be condemned, man. You know, that's not that's not holy conversation. You you talking with a nigga, and a, you catch a brother talking to a nigga in the world. He's like, yeah, man, I will blow that nigga brains out, or I beat that nigga head, you know, or fuck this nigga, do that, do that, and third nigga, we about to you know do this, do that, hit it, you know. You look at that brother and be like, what the fuck? Tell you keep a, you, this is what you do with your free time? Keep company with niggas and talk about nigga shit. That's uh, that ain't <laughs> that speech that can be condemned, man. Right? It says sound speech that cannot be condemned. That he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. So the so men that see all ways will be like, ah, this dude, I can't really say nothing about this guy. He's balanced in the spirit, right? And then we're not perfect. But majority, majority, from what they should see from us, from majority is like, yo, that that dude right there, yo, he's a balanced dude. He never gets too high. He never gets too low. You know, he's always, you know, something different about this guy. But if they look at you as just a regular nigga, that's that's a major indicator that you have not uh, put off that old man, and you you damn sure ain't qualified to be no leader of the nation. Um. Uh, yeah. So man, that, yeah, that's the point on this. That's the point on this topic. You know, leadership. Instruction for the princes, all right? Yasha Allah. Um, leadership, leadership. That's that's going to be this one. And um, I may, Lord willing, make another one, Um, you know, furthering off of this instruction for the princes. So I hope that was edifying, man. Until the next time I say Shalom.